Yeah. Very nice to meet you. Sydney, you're gonna be here for the rest of the night. Sydney. I'll be here all night. Okay. doesn't even compare. It's, it's like the freshest. I mean, I don't keg, but some of these guys that'll tell you about kegging, they've yeah. been doing it for years, you can't buy a beer that tastes fresher or any better than a homemade brewed beer, or wine too, for that matter. So. It's a group of guys who like to make beer, and we get together, share information, have in-club competitions, and... Uh, How long has it been in existence? Do you know? Uh, early 90s. There's a couple of the guys here, um, I believe, are charter members. Uh, April, April 1994, where the original found, left to, left over two founding members of the club. Yeah. Yeah. At, you know, people have a great interest in beer right now, and so when you have an interest in beer, I mean, a lot of people want to make beer. And then we, the suggestion came up, you know, why don't we start a club so we can exchange ideas and what to do and experience in life, you know, and that's Makes very simple. Smarter, yeah. mm -hmm. That's very simple. Yeah. Yep. And I think, you know, uh, like Carl was mentioning earlier, the home brewing fluctuated with the economy. And also, I think American people traveling more abroad, getting the taste for better beers and uh, I'm not bashing anyone but you know it's, it's a matter of taste you know it's a matter of taste and uh, I go back to Germany visiting the family once a year and when I go back I'm in heaven you know? uh, back in New Jersey I just brewed with myself I mean it was just me uh, yeah. I didn't go to a club or anything like that and when I came up here and I started brewing again then I joined into the club it was a whole different experience it was a lot more fun and yeah, you could bring your beers in and people could try it and it was, yeah. it was a lot more to it uh, than just your friends coming over to your house and drinking your beer. Yeah. Yeah. Because you made it yourselves. We follow guidelines, there are international guidelines uh, for the different kinds of styles and beers. Uh, they gave us the possibility or they're telling us what they should taste like, look like, uh, um, smell like. We have 200 uh, taste buds in our mouth, and m most of us, but using only like maybe 10. Right. Yeah, I I love making things in general, whether it's woodworking, electronics, or yeah. anything. And I spent a lot of years in the hotel business and the food and beverage side of things. Uh -huh. So I always enjoyed cooking and ingredients. Yeah. So making beer was kind of a progression yeah. off of that. Um, and it, it's a lot of fun because you're, you know, there's chemical reactions, there's natural components, and and in the end, you think, well, you know, when I drank beer for many years prior to that, I thought it was a complicated process, but it's not. It's simple, and you can make it complicated, but just to make a good beer is really, really easy. And I was like, wow, this, I can do this. So it just one more thing that I had to take on to show that I could, I could do it, and so for the most part, it's been successful. One of the first, uh, the godfathers of homebrewing is Charlie Papazian. Uh, he wrote some of the, a couple of the first really comprehensive books. And one of his favorite lines is, you know, relax and have a homebrew. Basically, don't worry about it. Just make beer and have yeah, fun, yeah, you know, yeah. so. Now, here, here, here's the thing. It, you can make it rocket science if you want. Yeah. But also, if you can boil water, you can make beer. Yeah. Okay. So you can. There's the two extremes, and then, like Horst mentioned, you know, brewing to a style and all that. But there are also no rules. This is your own beer. You can do whatever you want with it. Yeah. And people come up with some very creative ideas of things to put in a beer. And it's kind of um, it's kind of a, a rabbit hole you go down. Yeah. You start brewing. You start doing brewing with like extract beers and simple recipes. And then you start saying, I can do better. I can make this better. And better makes it more complicated. And that's when you really start finding out that, wow, if I just change one thing, out of all those different things, it's a different beer. And uh, yeah, so usually you start brewing real simple. 
then you make it way too complicated and then you kind of come back to a happy medium where you know your wife isn't going to kick you out of the house because of it if you start doing your home brew and you don't do it to save money because it's an expensive way to make cheap beer <laughs> but um, you do it because you enjoy it you like the camaraderie of the people you're making the beer with yeah. you know you enjoy coming down here and, and talking to these other people down here so, so. three two one <laughs>